Last time on Fire Emblem Three Houses. Um, are you listening, Marianne? I was listening. I just don't think I can really... For crying out loud! Why do you always have to admit defeat before even giving yourself a chance? Damn, Lysithia takes a little zero shit from anybody. My advice would probably just put everyone in danger. You'd be better off without me. This is beyond ridiculous. You are impossible. You seem convinced you're some sort of cursed being, destined to bring doom and gloom to anyone you encounter. You're not wrong. Well... Why do you have such a terrible opinion of yourself? How could you possibly be so dense? I just... Just nothing! Now you listen to me for a moment. I can see that you have some deep-seated turmoil you struggle with. I'll have you know I have quite a few issues of my own, perhaps more grave than yours, if you can imagine. You have issues? Dang. R really? Yes, but I'm not the only one who has such troubles to contend with. Everyone does. Holy shit, I never thought Lysithia out of all people would be the one to have to talk with her. That's why it's so important to maintain a positive outlook and do what we can. Can we adopt Lysithia? Each time we find the light in the dark, we grow, bit by bit. And without growth, what's the point in carrying on? Guys, we need to adopt her. Lysithia, I envy your confidence and strength. Or maybe we could catch her, we just need to put a lot of sugar in a trap. Don't envy me. Instead, just choose to find the positive, won't you? Yes. Well, maybe someday. The time is now! This is your moment! Oh, okay. That's more like it. Now to start, why don't you help me out by answering my questions about wild animals? I'll certainly try my best. Holy shit! Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're here with Guma, and we're back with Fire Emblem. Three houses. Now, I'm just trying to see if the music's working. Yes, it is. Let's jump straight into it, continuing off where we left off last week, which was halfway through the supports because we unlocked a literal crap ton of them. So let's wrap up the ones that we haven't done and hopefully start the next, is it called sequence or week or event or mission or whatever it is, and then hopefully get a little bit of gameplay in. Otherwise, it's just going to be supports, which are pretty entertaining. They're probably the, one of the most entertaining pum. Yeah, one of the most entertaining parts of the game, but I still like to play a little bit of the game. <laughs> but let's just watch the opening again really quickly, because as always, I find stuff in there that I haven't seen last time, and it always sort of clicks when you get to a certain part of the game, what you're seeing in the opening, and what you've just played. And, and I sort of appreciate it on different levels the further I get into the game. At the beginning, you know absolutely nothing, and as you go through the events, you see more and more of the opening, and he never looks the same. So I kind of want to appreciate it as much as I can before it's gone forever. <laughs> well, not gone, but changed forever. I gotta ask, is she the freaking white dragon? That's the one question I have now. Because the dragon seems to be white and have like a golden thing on it. Okay, there is going to be a literal battle soon. I think. I think. Still waiting for that dragon. Had this moment, which was 
kind of bitter in its own way. Okay, that dragon keeps popping up in multiple scenes. I have to find out what's up with that one. You like seeing me do 3D chess? <laughs> I wouldn't even call it chess with this AI. All good, Christian. Thanks for dropping by. Thanks for dropping by. All right, let's just continue. Let's just continue. Let's just pop in. I saved the game before I closed it. Hopefully we don't lose any of the certification runes via failures. We shouldn't, but if we do, it is what it is. It is what it is. So let's just do this and jump straight into the supports. I think we did more than half. I think we did more than half. Because the ones that we didn't do yet, we probably chipped away at a few of their supports. The one thing you notice during the OP is that the Sword of the Creator doesn't have a Crest Stone in it. Eh. I didn't actually notice that, but thanks for pointing it out. They make such a big deal about Crest Stones. Alright, sleep well. Be good. Okay. Supports. Mm, Bernie, Petra, Dorothea, Felix, Ash, Lysithia. No, Lysithia's done. Flean, Leone, and Shamir. That's not a lot. Alright, let's just jump in with Bernie. Bernie has Felix, Leone, and... Oh my god, Yuri's one is locked now. Damn it! I wanted to see where that was gonna go. That was a really fun one. Alright, let's do Felix and Leone. I love how she's literally afraid of everyone. She'd be afraid of the cake in the cafeteria. If I run, he'll chase me. Maybe if I just hold really, really still. I like how Hutchins like, who's scared of a cake? And what is this? And what is this talk of cake? And where is my cake? I say cakey and Hutchins like, hi. And now Hutchins wants cake and I want cake. Are we thinking of the cake that's like multi-layered with softness in the middle with the chocolate on the outside? Yeah. I don't know, when she thinks of food, for some reason like the same food pops into my head. It's like... Telekin- no, telekinesis is moving things. Telepathy. Yeah, it's telepathy. Hachan has telepathy. She can put images of food in people's brains. That's the extent of a telepathy. It's food related only. Ah, uh, Hachan, door. Yeah. I like how she just closes her eyes. Maybe if I close my eyes, he won't see me. It's like, what? Whatever it is, I didn't do it, I swear. Fun fact, Bernadette and Felix's English VAs are dating slash married. That would make this exchange even more funny. Unless I'm offending you just by standing here. No, here. I believe this is yours. Huh? Oh... Yeah, that's my satchel. Wait, where did you get that? Stop asking questions and just take it. No! Trap! It's a trap! Why are you acting like this? These supports are just... Acting? Yeah. Does this terror on my face look fake to you? You're being difficult. Come on, this is yours. I can't! Your icy glare has frozen me completely! Shut up, just take the thing. <laughs> no, please don't kill me. What? Who's going to... Sword! He's got a sword! <laughs> Doesn't everyone in this freaking castle have a sword? My sword! How did you... I can't do this anymore! Did she just disarm him? What an odd girl. She's certainly caught my attention. I've never seen that technique before. Did she just sa shadow step? The fuck? Oh, I still have to give this back to her. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't even know what to say. Uh, Alright, here's another one with Bernie being scared shitless of someone. This time it's Leone. ready let's get to planting oh what now she can stare at leone no problem she's so diligent i can barely oh look at her elbow great bernie has an elbow fetish 
Sure. There we go, all set. Now a little water. Her sleeve's all torn. She should get that fixed. But then how will you see her elbow? Hey, Bernadetta, what are you doing here? Uh, Leone! I was... Um... <laughs> Just looking at your elbow. <laughs> how would you respond to that? If you've got time to stare, you may as well help me out. Is that all you wanted to say? Uh, not exactly. Well, come on, out with it. Oh, it's the, the elbow! <laughs> Your elbow looks fine to me. Is it bothering you? Not mine, yours! Your sleeve's torn. Huh, how about that? You're right, I didn't notice. You could have just told me right away, you know. It's just a little tear, though. Nothing to worry about. If you don't mind, I could fix it for you. It would only take a minute. Bernie knows how to sew. You can do that? I'm actually pretty good at sewing. I never knew. Well, if you're offering, by all means. Just let me finish watering these. Oh, I guess I should get this shirt off first, though, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look at Bernie! Had <laughs> the jaw drop. What? Hold on, don't. <laughs> oh my god, this is just too funny. This is just too funny. Oh my god! Oh my god, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> that escalated quickly. He's like, oh, I'm just admiring your elbow. It's like, well, why don't you take a look at the rest of my upper body while you're at it? It's like, oh. <sighs> when Bernie said someone was going to kill her, Felix drew his sword since he thought someone was going to attack her. Bernie gets scared and then somehow disarms Felix and run away. Felix is now interested in her technique. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, Leone and Felix. How fitting. Let's see how this goes. If you don't have any business here, go away. You're bothering me. Wow. Finally spotted me, did you? What's going on here? What do you want? They say you're the best. I wanted to see your training with my own eyes. <laughs> do we have a love triangle forming here? Wait, but a triangle needs all the sides to connect in some way or another. Felix, start liking Bernie. The triangle needs to happen. <laughs> Spying on people. Is that a hobby of yours? I hope you got your fill. <laughs> Enough to see how to beat you, at least. Ooh! Ooh! You think you can beat me? Ooh! That's right. See, I was trained by... Ooh! Gerald, yes. So you know. <laughs> Step one, Leone. When fighting a guy, kick him in the dick. No matter how big and strong, kick him in the dick. <laughs> Leone can only beat guys by kicking him in the dick. She starts kicking girls in the crotch. She's like, why is it not working? <laughs> I heard he was your teacher. Perhaps we should test you. See how much of your training sank in. I'm ready if you are. Okay, I'll give you a chance. Sounds good. When? Now. I'll let you know. In the meantime, practice. I won't go easy on you. Just go now! Oh, don't worry. I'll be ready. Seriously? Why are you postponing this? If you're postponing this, I'm selling tickets and popcorn. This will be fun. So, you got disarmed by Bernie, but you're gonna fight Leone. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why are all the girls in this world strange? <laughs> Understanding Women, Chapter 4321. <laughs> Fire Emblem Three Houses Edition. Ooh, Leonely and Shamir. This was unexpected. What's going on here? Why am I so off? Yesterday wasn't like this. Well, that's what happens when you were checking out Felix's ass. Some days I just can't seem to hit anything. Your mind, body, and technique are not synchronized. Wait. Find harmony between the three. 
Sorry, is Shamir's top a different color from previously? Or have I simply not seen Shamir in a while? You lack experience. You'll improve if you practice. Now that you mention it, Shamir, how come I've never seen you train? Do you keep odd hours? Or are you just so good that you don't even need it anymore? I am always training. Look here. A dagger. Watch. Is she gonna throw it? Oh my god, I'm in love. Wow, nice throw. That was a long one. I am in love. But does throwing knives at pillars really count as shooting practice? I'm sorry, but if you can throw a knife and hit the target... To fuck... Je je <laughs> Leone, have you ever thrown a knife before? The amount of concentration required to throw that thing properly is through the roof. Seriously. Plus, the knife is so damn versatile. Look closely. Is that... A centipede? You pierced it clean in half. How did you even see that? Oh, Jesus, Leone. I mean, sorry, Shamir. I train everything. Eyes, speed, accuracy. Damn. Watch as the bird flies. Feel the wind. Recognize the distance between objects. Oh my god. Not all training requires a weapon. Integrate training into your daily routine. She's a freaking assassin. Why are you not in my main party again? My daily routine, huh? That's great advice. Thanks. I'll do my best. Very good. Just be cautious. She's a freaking assassin. We've already recruited her. She's already in our team. She's just, she's just been sitting there for a while doing nothing. I don't know why. I don't know why. All right, Felix. Let's 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 wrap up your support. Oh wow, you've got supports with everybody. You slut. All right, Felix and Dorothea. Is it love or lust? Could be Felix, both. Felix, my goodness, I swear you're always training. Such a hard worker. So strong. Some people are a little more subtle. Dorothea is not. Hello? Felix? <laughs> what? Oof! 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 I don't think that's ever happened to Dorothea before. Oof! You can hear me. Oh, that's good. I was worried maybe your ears didn't work. Did she just get rejected? What do you want? Oof! Oof! Strike two! Strike two! Oh, nothing. Nothing in particular, I mean. But now that I'm here, and now that you've asked... Oh my god. <laughs> She's assuming that he gives a shit. He doesn't. He gives zero fucks. She's not used to this. When you've finished up, do you think you'd like to join me in the dining hall for something sweet? Oof! <laughs> Alright, let's see what he says. I'll pass. I don't like sweets. Oof! <laughs> Strike three! Also, you're a nuisance. Stay away from me. Oh! Strike four! What is this? Felix, you're like Virgil right now. What is going on? <laughs> Be gone, thought! Three houses edition. Oof! That's not a very nice way to talk to a classmate. I like how she's trying to push in the classmate part. It's like, I'm just here as a classmate! It's like, no, you're not. Be gone. Anyway, you sound like you're shooing away a stray cat. Oh god. <laughs> oh. oh. Shh, shut up. I am not a stray cat, Felix, and I am not leaving until you take a moment to chat with me. Oh my god, Dorothea is Karen. Dorothea is Karen. Oh my god, she's Karen. Oh my god. Oh my god, she is Karen. <sighs> you are a pest. Fine, do what you will. Oh, you better believe I am going to keep doing exactly what I will. Oh my god, she's Karen. It kind of seems like the one thing she wants to be doing is the one thing that doesn't want to do her. Hmm, maybe instead of a sweet treat, we can get something spicy. Would you like that? You know what they say, spice is not a flavor, it's a sensation, being pain. Meaning people that like spicy stuff like it rough. I've heard the dining hall is serving a dish with some western spices in it. Mmm. Does that sound good, Felix? 
Would you like something spicy instead of sweet? Not subtle at all, Dorothea. Not subtle at all. Do you want to offer him a glass of water while you're at it? You're distracting me. When I am hungry, I will eat alone. Stop squawking at me. Oof! <laughs> well, since you asked so nicely, I'll leave you in peace. I don't think he was Goodbye, asking. Felix. Finally. I don't think Dorothy is used to being rejected. Wow. Felix is basically Virgil right now. All right, let's see how Mercedes Benz does. Here you go, Felix. Have some tea. Oh my God, Mercedes is just like not even asking. She's like, have some tea. Oh. Hmm. Oh ho oh, oh. ho! Oh ho! Oh wow! What a contrast. Sorry, but we're all out of cakes. Should I bake some more? Please don't. <laughs> what am I watching right now? Oh, your clothes are so dirty. Let me wash them for you. Excuse me, is this a Fire Emblem Three Houses support, or am I watching some, like, cliché soap opera? Mercedes, what's wrong with you? Seriously, is it that time of the season, Fire Emblem? What's with all the girls, man? There's nothing wrong with me. I'm just making tea. Is there something wrong with that? Jesus, <laughs> it's a completely different approach, but Mercedes is just disarming him. She's like, I'm just being normal. Is there anything wrong with that? I'm just making tea and offering you some. Is there anything wrong with that? I'm just washing your clothes while you're topless. Is there anything wrong with that? Jesus, Mercedes, I underestimated you. I thought you were some shut-in Disney princess in a tower. You're not my mother. You don't have to bother with all this. I can do without it. Uh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. You just remind me so much of my little brother. Excuse me, that is just creepy on so many fucking levels right now. I do? Yes, his name is Emil. We have different fathers, but we grew up in the same household. Ugh, that is still creepy. That is, until I was about eight or nine years old. I haven't seen him since then. Brother complex alert. Sorry to state the obvious, but I'm not your brother. I'm not a meal. Can't you find someone else to bother? Ooh! Felix bit back. Felix reminds me of a cat. He wants the occasional pat and then he's like, be gone. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll leave you alone. Please help yourself to more tea if you'd like. I can leave the pot. Goodbye. I am me, Felix Hugo Fraldarius. There is no one else. <laughs> Brother. Oh! <laughs> Jesus, Felix. You're giving serious Virgil vibes here, buddy. My god. <laughs> what is up with Felix? He's a fucking cat. All right, Flian. Let's see what's going on here. Seriously, this guy is always training. Work, Felix. Oh god, here comes the cheerleader club. Why are you here? You're interrupting. Oh, uh, my apologies. I simply thought you were doing a great job. It's funny you should say cactus, considering how green Flian is. Just how sharp is that blade of yours, Felix? Do you imagine you might be able to cut something cleanly with it? Probably. Ah, uh, wonderful. I have a special request for you then. You want me to cut this firewood? Uh, swords aren't used for cutting firewood. Axes are used for cutting firewood. I do. I shall toss them one by one to you, and you shall make a sweeping blow to slice them. That will blunt the blade. Sounds like a chore. I saw a knight do it once, so surely you can as well. Ooh, bug it up the wrong tree, Flan. Or perhaps you are worried that you are not capable. What? I am more than capable. All oh, right, questioning his ego, gotcha. Right, show me what you are made of. Here it comes. <sighs> Doing them one by one is tedious. Just throw them all at once. All right, Virgil. All of them? If you insist. Here we go. Wow, you truly 
star spectacular. Felix is Virgil. Ladies and gentlemen, Felix is Virgil. He hates his brother, he acts like a cat around women, and he knows how to use a sword. I know. You are undoubtedly the most revered woodcutter in all the land. Now I am intrigued. Next time, let us try an even larger wood pile. <laughs> how many support quests before Flean says, How about next time you cut me? Why did I agree to this? Seriously, all the girls have the hots for Felix. Acts like a cat? I thought I saw ears and a tail behind him. <laughs> god damn it, Felix. Oh god, let's see what he does with Ash. Oh fuck, Ash is gonna talk about knights and shit. No, bad boy. Why, Lenato? Oh god, this shit again. Oh, hey Felix. I suppose your thoughts are still with Lord Lenato. I'm fine. I'm just frustrated by how little I was able to do. I know he was trying to protect me, but Lenato never really told me anything. In the end, I don't think I understood his feelings at all. You said it yourself. Be more moderate in your passions. To me, he always seemed like a knight out of a story. Let's see if the word knight triggers him. And I was so caught up in my ideals, I turned a blind eye to his sadness, his hatred, even when they were right in front of me. I guess I'm pretty far from real knighthood, huh? Perhaps. Yet knowing someone well does not mean you know how they feel, whether family or friend. To know someone's sorrow and turn blindly from it, that is the act of a fool. I'm sorry, I just heard the word fool coming from uh, Excalibur in Soul Eater. I have been traumatized by hearing him say, FOOL! Jesus. But pursuing your ideals is not foolish. Mm, but before, you said... I said to be moderate in your passions, not to abandon your ideals. It's okay to be who you are. Thank you. Hearing you say that means a lot. Ah, I almost forgot. You lent me this. Did oh, you read it? The book I lent you. I'm guessing you hated it? Actually, I already knew the story. Hmm? My brother used to read it to me all the time. You must have dug up some old feelings then. Oh, this is gonna be an interesting relationship because Ash strikes me as someone less experienced and younger than Felix, yet Felix had a big brother who turned out to be a knight who died, you know, being a knight. So he's kind of trying to stop Ash from going down that path. This is going to be an interesting relationship. I suppose. That's just what I'd expect the knight in the story to say. Oh, God. It's not just the way you talk, either. It's who you are as a person, deep down. All right, Ash. Now you're just barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> well, I think you're like the squire in the book. He's only half a knight, but he's bold and gregarious. And he always does his best. Don't stop being that half knight, okay? You got it. I'll become the kind of knight only I can be. We'll call you Freckle Knight. <laughs> Speaking of uh, knights and like Felix's sword and everything, now that, and you guys probably already know since I'm actually moving into a house and I'm going to have my own room for a studio and Hachan's going to have her own room for a studio, there's actually room in the garage and I'm thinking of making a target dummy for um, Kendo because I used to practice Kendo quite regularly. I already have all my like tools and my shinai and everything. So I'm thinking of making a target so I can just go to the garage and practice a few cuts every day because it's been a while. And when you don't practice for a while, your sort of form and technique gets sloppy. You want it to be nice and sharp. And just by doing it every day a little bit, you, you, you sort of you sort of keep the rust off your technique. So I just want to build a dummy and just do some strikes. It's not going to be anything crazy like a hundred or a thousand every single day. Because I know I'm not going to commit to that. I just kind of want to have the dummy there. So, you know, when I'm in between things or I'm feeling a little bit frustrated, I can just go to the garage and clear my head by, you know, practicing on the dummy. And I know what the sound is supposed to sound like when you strike the target. You know, that little loud pop. Anyone that's done kendo knows it. They basically call it tenuch, which is the pop when you strike the target of the armor. Well, the piece of armor. It pops because 
because you haven't put too much weight into it, but you've put just enough so that all the momentum is actually on the tip of the blade rather than the rest. So if you put too much force into it, it's like a dull clank sound. If you don't put enough into it, it's just like really hollow. But if you get it just right with all the momentum on the tip at the moment of striking, it sounds like a pop and it's really loud and it echoes. So whenever I'm feeling, you know, shitty or something, I want to have the target there so I could just go there and practice until I can get that pop sound just to clear my mind. Because to get it, to get it to happen, you have to focus on it. And by focusing on that, I'm going to leave everything else behind, whether it be stress or whether it be anger or whether it be something else. It will kind of be like a therapeutic thing for me, but it would be something that I can do in my own time. And yeah, I actually have two katanas. Um, I've got a handful of shinais, different models, different types. And I've also got like a whole shinai kit and everything. So for my shinai, I've got, um, I've got the reg- I don't actually use regular shinais. I found that if I use regular shinais, they'll break within 10-15 minutes of me using them. Or if I'm in a tournament, they'll break within two or three hits. Because even though I don't put too much weight into my hits, there is a lot of force behind them because my, you know, my arms and my torso and my body, it's actually very big. So I actually use like highly durable shinai, which usually weigh about half a kilogram more than your typical shinai. Um, they're competition grade shinais, but they're typically used as like training shinais. You know, when you're doing, um, I forget what it's called. Um, it's not when you do shiai or when you do... It's not when you're doing Jigeko, I forget it. But it's basically when you're using it to block the other person's shinai in training. So it's actually built to take a lot of impact. I usually use those shinais in practice. One, because they're a little bit heavier. Two, because they're durable. And three, because they're not going to break when I use them. The competition shinai are typically very light, but I don't like them. I usually like to have more weight in the blade because it gives me a lot more power behind it. I'm, I'm one of those people that... I don't like using power in a tournament because I don't want to be a brute that needs to overpower his opponent. But when my opponent is a brute, I want to have the weight in my blade so that I could basically just dominate him. Because what, what I sometimes do is when we're basically in Shi'ai and we're sit pretty much like, not in striking distance, it's not, striking distance is when you're apart and there's about half a meter between you so there's enough room for a swing and when you're right next to each other you're sort of engaged and you're blocking when you're sort of in the middle distance you have enough room to basically maneuver your blade around their blade and push their blade down and then move backwards half a step and strike them on the head but in order to do that you need enough weight in your blade to be able to push theirs down if there's not enough weight you're basically trying to push down a piece of wood with a piece of paper Whereas if you have something like a steel bar and you're trying to push a piece of wood, you've got a lot more of that weight and leverage that you can actually pull it off. Which is why I like things with a bit more weight. But it also makes your arms more tired. But because I train with such heavy equipment, I'm used to it, you know? Like, when I was training for tournaments, I used to, quite literally at my university, run up and down the university building. The university building was 50 floors. I used to go up and down two, three times in a row. So I used to run up 50 floors, go down 50 floors, Run up 50 floors, go down 50 floors, run up 50 floors, go down 50 floors. So I was actually used to lugging around my body weight, which at the time was 90, 95 kilos, up the stairs. And so when I put on 5, 10, 15 kilos of armor, and I'm just on a flat surface, I could dance around my opponents all day because I'm used to lugging my 100 kilo fat ass up 50 floors, right? And so when I was in training and I was doing sword strikes, I used to go for a thousand sword strikes as a warm-up. If I'm going to do a head strike, I'm going to do a thousand of them. If I'm going to do an arm strike, I'm going to do a thousand of them. If I'm going to do a body strike, I'm going to do a thousand of them. And I do it with the heaviest piece of equipment I can find. And then I will actually add weight on the, to the equipment. I would add weight onto the tip. I would add weight onto the middle. You know, I'd make it more difficult for myself. So when the competition actually comes up, stamina is never in question. I could go for an hour without a break and I will be completely fine. I don't want to be tired. Fuck that shit. So I just kind of want to set up that training dummy in my garage just to have it there. I don't, I'm not actually training kendo right now, but I want to sort of get some of the rust off and just in my own time practice the strikes. Of course, I'm going to be useless if I go into an actual competition, but I don't want to lose all that technique because I spent years developing it. I'd like to just sort of keep it as a thing on the side, you know? Occasionally just do it. And it's a little bit of fun. I used to be able to do heaps of shit with it, right? I used to be able to hit like tiny little targets on a piece of 
armor while you're moving. We used to have this thing where they used to put these little balloons. These like little water balloons that are about like this big on the armor. And the person would actually be moving. You'd have a proper fight. And you would actually be going for the target. And if you didn't actually do the proper strike, you wouldn't have enough momentum on the tip of your blade in order to break the balloon. Because you know, the balloons are not full, so they sort of move around. But if you do it really quickly with a lot of weight, you'll actually snap the balloon and it'll pop. So I used to be able to hit a moving target with proper technique, you know. Now I probably won't be able to do it, but I want to sort of, you know what I mean, have it in the garage. That and I'm probably going to put in like a punching bag or a kicking bag and just do that in my own time. You know, it's just, it's a bit of therapy, it's a bit of exercise, it's good shit. But that's kind of the type of shit Felix gets into. It, playing these sort of supports and seeing a character do shit like that just sort of inspires me to do it. I kind of feel like just going and hitting the bag for 30-40 minutes. Or just hitting the target for 30-40 minutes, you know, it's just one of those things. Anyway, without rambling on for too long, let's continue. We've got Ash and Petra, and then we're going to go on with the story. See, we've cleared up most of the supports because most of them were related to Felix. Kuma, would you stream some practice, Kuma? I mean, I could, but I wouldn't use it as an instruction manual because what I typically do works for me. When, when I was... I used to have competition training regiments. One was for Kendo, one was for Karate. But it works for me because my body type is different to other people. So I just do it sort of for me. Like my karate one used to be, you do your normal training session, then you would basically hit the bags. You would have like two, three minutes hitting the bag, like proper time for a tournament. No gloves, nothing. Like you hit the heavy bag. And by heavy bag, I mean like 50, 100 kilo bags, right? And the first few times you do it, your knuckles are going to start bleeding within 30 seconds. But by doing it over and over, you condition your hands and your feet and your shins to not tear in a fight. Because if you've ever seen people doing martial arts, you'll see they sometimes get injured. Their knees get bruised, their knuckles get, you know, they're bleeding, so they stop using their hands and all this sort of stuff. I didn't want that. So I just trained my whole body to be as durable as possible. And so when you finally knock that out, you start doing your conditioning training. And your stamina training, which is basically, okay, your fights are two, three minutes, right? Okay, hit the bag for three minutes. Proper technique, proper timing, proper everything. You know, put a timer on your phone or stopwatch or whatever you want to do. Put it on three minutes and ten seconds. Let it go beep. You know, do your bow, walk on, and start. Don't start in front of the bag. Start like two meters away from the bag and pretend it's real. Go in there, have your guard up, you know, kick, punch, whatever, and start working that bag block move around time your techniques combo but do proper ones don't do like little sloppy hits that do nothing pretend it's an actual person because you don't want to be throwing hits which are useless so if you survive three minutes of that take a quick break you know 30 seconds one minute and pretend like it's round two right because sometimes you're gonna have an extension where you only have you know 20 30 seconds to catch your breath because the judges have decided no one's won that fight and you gotta fight again for another three minutes so get in there and fight or you might get a situation where you've had a fight, and because the pools are structured in such a way, you're up next. Oh, you've just had one fight and you got to do another one? Well, too fucking bad. Do it anyway. So you do that. And then, once you've got that three, four minutes, start adding it on. Do three by three. So do three minutes, one off. Three minutes, one off. Three minutes, one off. Then go for five. Once you can do five, you're like, all right, cool, your stamina's good. Now push for a four-minute bag session. Why four minutes? No one's gonna fight for four minutes, but when you're fighting, people hit you. They hit your lungs. You're nervous. You're this, you're this, you're that. Three minutes on the bag is easier than three minutes in a fight. <laughs> so then push for four minutes, push for five minutes, push for six minutes. I've only ever pushed it to five minutes, but if you can push it to six minutes, push it to six minutes. Then do the same thing. Do six minutes three times, six minutes four times, six minutes five times. And do that at the end of your training session when you're already tired. And then you're just going to watch your stamina go through the roof. So then when you actually go to a fight where you've had rest for two, three days, you're well fed, well rested, you know, you're vitamined up, you're caffeined up and all that stuff. Stamina is never going to be a thing. You're not going to get tired. Your arms are not going to be heavy. You know, your knuckles are not going to bleed. Your shins are not going to get bruised. Like, just go nuts. And the same thing with your training partners, right? If you're sparring with people, ask them to hit you hard. Not knock you out. You know, if they see you're not blocking, you know, pull back. But get them to hit you properly. If they can hit you in the lung with a kidney, 
Get him to hit you there. Why? You want to get the practice of taking hits. What I used to do is, at the end of the training sessions, I used to go to my, you know, my mates in there, and he was, he was actually like the biggest guy there. He was taller than me. He was six foot four, six foot five, and it was about 110 kilos. I'd be like, hey, can you help me with conditioning? And it's like, all right, cool. I'm like, all right, I want you to punch me for three minutes. And I just literally stand there, in like, you know, proper guard and everything. I'm like, punch me for three minutes. And he'd hit me, and I'm like, no, proper punches, as hard as you can. And he would just beat on me for three minutes. I got in trouble a few times. People were like, you're going to get injured. And I'm like, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Six months of doing that later. Like, we used to do that every day of the week, Monday to Friday. Six months later, he would actually hit me as hard as he could. Punches and kicks for three minutes. Then it would be his turn. Then I would beat him up for three minutes. Then we'd switch back for three minutes. I'd punch him for three minutes. So instead of hitting bags, we were hitting each other. As hard as we could. So we were conditioned, we had stamina, and we were used to big motherfuckers hitting us. Guess what happened when we went to tournaments? Stamina was fine, and hits were fine. The only way you could take us out was by knocking us out by hitting us in the head. So we were literally going on to tournaments and just beating the shit out of people. That's how conditioned we were. We ended up going to the um, international tournaments for uh, Oceania as well. We went to the world tournament. He was there as well. But we also competed in Oceania. And we were like, we needed representatives for different divisions. Um, he was, we were both, I think, in the super heavyweight. And it was us two in the super heavyweight. And we were the only ones out of Australia for the super heavyweight, which is basically 90 kilos and above. The other 90 kilo fighters decided they didn't want to be in the super heavyweight. So they went under 90 kilos. So they were in the 80 to 90 kilos and whatnot. And we ended up getting put up against like, big motherfuckers like <laughs> trained mother like multiple degree of black belts condition 10 years fighting experience ex-military motherfuckers some seven foot giants from south africa with arms this big but it like it was fun it was fun we we, we had so much fun but yeah, uh, would I do it as a video? I mean, I could. I wouldn't be able to do the training sessions in dojos and whatnot. But I mean, I could show off what I would do at home. Little things, what I can do. I used to have a home gym in the living room with a power rack and everything. But, you know, I could try set one up in the garage. Show you guys what I can get up to. You could do heaps of stuff at home. I mean, if you need something to do at home, I just say, do your sit-ups, do your push-ups, try to do some planks. Planks hurt like a bitch, but they're an excellent way to get your core strength and stamina up. And if you can do like 50 sit-ups, 50 push-ups, 30 second plank, just keep pushing it from there. Some of us like to watch, could be fun and may bring more people into one. Yeah, you guys just want to watch me get tortured. <laughs> you guys would watch me getting beat up for three minutes at a time. You guys would love that. I know what you guys want. You want to watch me get beat up. I don't want to watch me get beat up too. That would be fun for everyone. Yeah, we could try that. We could try that. Internet's better in Australia, so it's easier to stream from different locations. We'll, we'll try to do something. We'll try to have some fun with this. All right, we got Petra and Ash. Let's see where this goes. Ash, I need to give you more gratitude for the commoner techniques you showed me. Commoner techniques? You mean getting bargains at market stalls? Commoner techniques? Oh, you mean when I haggled for you. I love how I can remember shit that happens in video games, but I can't remember shit that happened in real life. Almost like people in real life are worth less than people in video games. Yes, it has made for many savings. I was telling the professor, we both are so happy. <laughs> really, it wasn't a big deal, but I'm glad the professor was pleased. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, what is it? Do I have something on my face? For a lot of time, I was living in the Imperial Capital. Then I came here, to the Monastery. Both places contain many nobles, and many chances to be learning noble customs. That's true. When you're surrounded by new people, you naturally pick up all kinds of stuff. Though with nobles, there's a lot to learn. All the etiquette is overwhelming. Some of the etiquette is ridiculous. Not to mention the dancing. Ah, I just keep stepping on my partner's feet. <laughs> in Fodlin, the nobles are training for dancing since their youth. They have much skill. You do know why nobles were trained in dancing, right? It was for the females to get the attention of the men. And it was for the men to try to get the attention of the females. Because dancing is associated with how you perform in bed. It was just a subtle way of showing, hey, I know how to use my body. 
When I was a kid, I spent most of my time helping out at my parents' restaurant and playing with my brother and sister. Back then, I never dreamed I'd ever be studying at a proper academy with all these nobles. I have learned many customs of the nobles, but few of the commoners. I am hoping you will teach me techniques, secret skills, anything, all of the things. <laughs> I love this. All of the things. Petra, that is the best thing all stream. All of the things. All of the things. Teach me all of the things. I love it. I love it. I love it. Secret skills? <laughs> I don't think I know anything that <laughs> fancy. <laughs> all of the things. All of them. <laughs> I love that. That is not the truth. The technique for money saving could be helpful even for nobles. I think the nobles are so concerned about looking rich, they will actually waste money on shit that's not even useful. Like, they will deny being given change, or they won't even haggle, or they won't, you know, even bring up things when they're broken or something. It has use for all the world. I don't know about that. Really, I don't have any special secrets. Commoner wisdom is only to be shared with commoners, then? I have understanding. Forbidden knowledge. <laughs> Petra's imagination is running wild. Ash, how about we make a bargain? We can be trading information. <laughs> In Bridget, powerful curse techniques are passed down. What? And we can speak with the spirits. What? I can be teaching you these things. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> fucking Petra knows black magic and voodoo. Who would have thought? What the fuck? What? Curses? No, 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 no. I, I don't need any dangerous information like that. Jesus Christ, Petra. But if you really insist, I guess I could teach you a few things about what life is like on the streets. Would that be enough? You will be showing me the secret techniques? I cannot be waiting. <laughs> uh, that's not what I meant. The other day, I saw a comment made by a VA talking about how difficult it is to act Petra's grammar. You would have the advantage of having the written script in front of you and be able to have multiple takes of it. But I get what you mean. Your your brain will be saying this is grammatically incorrect, but you're supposed to pronounce it anyway. It would be pretty cute if we could set up Ash with someone like Petra. It would be pretty cute. I don't know how it would work, but it would be pretty cute. Oh god, why am, why am I trying to set up people? Why am I the matchmaker? Why am I the matchmaker? Alright, we are up to the mission, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it. Conflict in the Holy Tomb. Your house ventures into the Holy Tomb to receive a revelation from the goddess. In that hidden place, deep beneath Garen Mark, a shocking truth is revealed. You mean the fact that the goddess is not actually around? Well, that sucks. Oh, wait. We absorbed the goddess. Here we go. We are the goddess. Lel. Well, we absorbed her, didn't we? Surthus was the goddess. Oh, no. Kenpachi Daddy's no longer reading this. Is it a battle? Are you surprised, Professor? This is the holy tomb. Oh, kind of, it looks the color scheme looks familiar. To think that there was such a vast space beneath the monastery all this time. Seriously, who does the dusting? It's hard to imagine that any of these enormous contraptions are of this world. This is where the goddess who created this world was laid to rest, along with her children. Wait, so this had children? It is said that our creator, the goddess Sothis, Called it! sat upon this very throne. I just gotta chill down my spine. And that is a little bit awkward considering we were talking to her not too long ago. Professor, do you recognize this throne? Now that you mention it, it does bear a striking similarity. I do. <laughs> I have waited so very long for this day. I certainly hope we don't get sacrificed. Sit upon the throne. 
I have no doubt you will be gifted a revelation from the goddess. How much you want to bet we sit on the throne and we just hear Sothis's voice? Hey! Get off my throne! Well? How do I hide the text? I will need this for screenshot reasons. Future Kuma, screenshot. Yes. It was supposed to be but a step away. What could possibly be missing? Maybe the fact that Sothis is gone? Stop right there. What? <laughs> Don't move, any of you. If you move, your lives will be forfeit. Okay, who the fuck are you, me today? Seriously, his name is pronounced me today. Why is your name mean today? And why is your sword pointed downwards? What if it accidentally unsheaths? Nothing about your costume makes any sense. Thank you ever so much for guiding us this far. The Imperial Army will now take possession of everything in the Holy Tomb. <laughs> so, how the F did you guys get in here? Because this is under Garrett Mark. Which assumes that you would have already been in Garrett Mark. Wearing your uniforms, which are a different color schemes to all the knights in Garrett Mark. How the F did you make it down here? What's the Imperial Army doing here? Better question is, how did the Imperial Army even get in here? Wait, does he work for the Flame Emperor? Does that mean we can incinerate him? So the Flame Emperor is connected to the Empire. I never thought that possible. We're entering spoiler territory? How is it spoiler territory when we've never played it? Guys, it's cool. Edelgard, did you know about this? Edelgard, please tell me that you're not working with this asshole. Yes. In fact, I gave the order. I am the Flame Emperor. Oh, you slut. How are you the Flame Emperor? I thought the Flame Emperor was some tall guy that was wearing a mask because he's ugly. How do I hide text? I can't hide text. How are you the Flame Emperor? I guess that's the end of play at school, Lady Edelgard. I mean, your majesty. You cock. Get to work, everyone. The Crest Stones belong to us now. And take those filthy bones, too. Excuse me? Insolence! You will atone for the sin of trampling on this holy resting place. Elgard, I thought you liked us. I thought you wanted us on your side. And Petra of all people, isn't she one of your servants? Isn't she loyal to you? Why are you throwing loyal servants aside? What is wrong with you? Professor, destroy these villainous traitors who dare dishonor our creator. But I'm right here. Wait, what's the meaning of this, Edelgard? You made use of us? Why? Technically, she is correct in her grammar. Edelgard did make use of us, but she also used us. I'm sorry, my teacher. I cut this path, and now I must follow it. But Edelgard, why are you throwing away useful allies that you might use later, that have been nothing but your friends? Why? Why are you not even giving them the opportunity to join your cause? Why are you creating enemies unnecessarily? Why would you do this? For someone that's made a lot of calculations, you didn't actually think this through very much, did you? Especially considering the fact that he has the Sword of the Creator, and, you, and you've seen him wipe out multiple armies in the past. Why are you making unnecessary enemies right now? My friends, I ask that all of you stay back. It is not my intention to fight you. Okay, so you still consider them friends. But why are you treating them like this then? By order of the Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hresvelg. I was there, by the way. I'm pretty sure you're the Emperor. I command you to collect the Crest Stones. If anyone attempts to stop us, kill them. Wow. Why does Edelgard have emo, uh, emo cuck boys working for her? Seriously. Hubert and me today. They both look like emo cuck boys. What is it with emo cuck boys and being cucked? Fucking hell. Flame Emperor, and what was a crest again? 
Crest of Flames? But we're also technically the Crest of Flames. Oh god damn it, Edelgard, I, 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 oh god, oh god. We made Edelgard a, um, she's that knight with very heavy plate armor, and she takes next to no damage. Oh god. I regret making Edelgard OP. This is coming back to bite us in the ass. Wait, you changed your outfit. Edelgard, you idiot. I gave you plate armor. Now you're wearing red armor. Do you not realize that people that are best dressed in combat are the first to die? What have I taught you about wearing heavy plate armor? Put on a helmet! And you, me today. I hate you. Wait, how the hell are these things working for you? Edelgard, how did you get demonic beasts to listen to you? How the hell did you pull that off? Okay, so she's got guards and archers behind them and... Ah, oh, crap, she's got half a brain. Ah, oh, crap, she's got a brain. And OCD. Look how beautifully uh, symmetrical this is. Look at the positioning. One gap. One gap. Archers. Archers. One gap in the middle. One gap in the middle. Edelgard, I like you. Symmetry, you know what matters. Edelgard, I like it. Symmetry. You have learned well. Except for one thing. Why are you overextending your front line? You are overextending your front line. Why? Edelgard, I taught you better than this. You're overextending your front line. Are you seriously think I'm stupid enough to go down the middle, take the bait to attack the mysterious mage, be attacked by four heavily armored units with low mobility, and then be flanked by these guys in the rear? Edelgard, how stupid do you think I am? Edelgard, I love your love of symmetry, but girl, you underestimate us love. Wait, is this Sothis' tomb? Y you shall not touch mummy Sothis' tomb. Okay, what are my units? Can I select my units? Oh shit, I can select whatever units I want. Oh, you're fucked now. Um, alright. Do, 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 do. Alright, Elgard, you're gonna pay for your stupidity. Um, Petra's gonna be in there because Petra's pissed. You know what? It makes sense that we use our main party. We've got Lysithia, who is a tactical nuke. Dorothea, that's a passive healer slash caster. Linhart, that's a primary healer. We've got Kuma. Mercedes is a maybe. She's an extra healer, but we might not need her. Um, hmm. I don't think we can actually recruit Marianne. Sorry, kiddo. Uh, Bernadetta, that's a sniper. Shamir, that's another sniper. And then we've got two more slots. We lost our tank. So I am going to grab Felix. That's been decent as a tank. Yeah, we don't actually have a good front line. Constance is way too squishy, but she could take something out from a distance. And Ash has been a good boy. Yeah, I'm going to go with what I know. Um, and then... I'll put Marianne so she gets stuff with Kuma. So hopefully she likes us more. And I will put Felix with... Mercedes Benz, why not? Now let's take a look at our inventory. Training Blow, Sword of Creator. I don't actually need Sword of Creator. Uh, store it. I don't actually use an axe. Give myself a lance. Oh, I don't need Killer Lance. Give me a Training Lance. Horse Slayer. We don't need it. Rusted Lance. Training Lance. Oh, everyone's got a freaking Training Lance. <laughs> I love how I'm actually... I'm my class is Soldier. 
Felix, Iron Sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah good boy. Uh, see, I'm going to be a good boy and actually give you a better sword because you've been a very good boy. I'm going to give you a... Armor Slayer in case you fight a guard. I'll take away your rusted bow and actually give you a training bow. Do we have a training bow? We don't have a training bow. God fucking damn it. Alright, we need to go to Marketplace. Welcome. Felix, training bow. Is that the one? Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Okay, a few training bows. I like training weapons, it makes Is the fight a lot more interesting. Five's fine. Thanks a bunch. Cool. Come back soon. This is going to be an interesting fight. Felix got Armor Slayer, Training Bow, Javelin, and an Iron Sword. He'll be fine. Ooh, you don't need... You've got your Training Bow. You've got a Killer Bow. You've got a Training Lance for short range. I will give you a... Do we have any Mini Bows? Fucking hell, we're low on Mini Bows. Because the Mini Bows are what you use in close range. Uh, you'll be fine with your Lance. You won't actually need it. Uh, Linhart, Training Lance, you don't even need it. Iron Shield, they won't even get to you. Lysithia, you've got your weapon, cool. Bernie, you've got your Steel Bow. I'm going to give you a Training Bow, just because you're going to be spamming that thing like crazy and you don't actually need anything so good. There we go, Training Bow. Uh, Dorothea, you're fine without anything. Petra, you need a Throwing Axe, girl. you got a Tomahawk, nice. Um, Killer Axe. Do we have an Armor Slayer? Uh, against Armored Units. There we go. See, I've learned. Store. I'll give you a second Armor Slayer. Ooh, you got a Mace too. Yeah, give me that. Cool. You're good. Shamir. Girl, you need a Training Bow. Steel Lance? Man, you don't even need a Steel Lance, girl. Get a Training Lance. Um, training Lances are all used up. Damn. How about I give you a Training Bow? Cool. Training Bow? I'll buy you a Lance. Well it seems that everyone needs a Lance in order to get their riding skill. Shimi, you're finally in the party again. How does it feel? A bunch. Cool, everyone seems to be good. Now let's go to the blacksmith. Italian guild. Yeah. Wait, how do we Italian? Replenish. We barely use them, but whatever. Blacksmith. Uh training lance is going down. We've got a javelin. Training bow, sort of creator, they'll be fine. I think that gets healed automatically. Iron Sword, Armor Slayer, you'll be fine. Training Bow, you'll be fine. Training Lance, you'll be fine. You don't need anything. Mini Bow, it's going to be fine. Don't need anything. Tomahawk, it'll be fine. Training Bow, it'll be fine. Yep, so far, so good. All right, now we're just going to get positioning down. Kuma critiquing his student. I don't get offended by the fact that my student is trying to kill me. I get offended if the attempt is poor. That is the role of the teacher. Either way, we both improve. Either the student surpasses the master, in which case I've done my job, or the master teaches the student, in which case the student has finally learned something. It's simply how it works. It's the rule of two. That's why the Sith are so powerful, and the Jedi are so weak. All right, as we always do. Wait, Felix? is a thief with a shield. Ha, huh, that's funny. All right, heavily armored units at the front. Good. Healers mid-range. Good. All right, positioning's good. Uh, given the terrain... We've got a good rally point in the middle. 
All right, I can deal with this. Wait a minute. I haven't given everyone good shit. I haven't given everyone good shit. I can give Dorothea an item. Where are those Chalice of Beginnings? Accelerates growth. Uh, Rage is empty for magical attacks. Take. See? Yeah, I just realized something. We are too heavy on... Felix, can you tank it? You're an assassin. 43. I feel I might be too heavy on range. Nine out of nine. I want to put Ferdinand in there. But to put him in, I'm going to have to take out one of my casters, which are good for taking out heavy elite target. So we've got Bernie Ash Shamir. Ah! You know what? I'll leave Felix in there, even though... Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. What do we have here? Pendant. I don't think he even needs it. Iron shield, steel lance, training lance, killer lance. Store, and I will give you... Critical, speed. I'll give you the goddess. Ring. Oh no, you can't actually equip it. Fuck it, they won't need it. They won't need it. They won't need it. Alright, let's get started. I don't think they'll need it. Defeat the enemy commander. Kuma falls in battle as a defeat condition. I will not allow such violence from the Empire. Strike down the rebels and protect the Holy Tomb. Please tell me you're not involved in this battle because you're basically a kamikaze. The crest stones are in the caskets. Open every last one of them. So I just have to stop you. The Holy Tomb must not be desecrated. Protect as many of the crest stones as you can. Ah, crap. Protect crest stones. If they're stolen, you can get them back by defeating the foes that have them. You earn rewards based on the number of crest stones you protected. All right, our strategy has changed. Instead of holding the middle, we're actually going to spread out and kill them. That's fine. I can live with that. That's fine. We're going to spread out. These are all tombs. That is fine. If that's the case... Battle. To work. If that's the case... Oh no. Bernie should be able to solo this. And if she uses the mini bow, she can actually kill the second guy. Anywhere I can hide. Uh, 
All right, so Bernie's gonna push the right. Ooh. Ash, can I count oh, on you for this one? Can I count on you for this one? Sleep in the dirt. All right, so you two push the left. He's gonna go for Bernie. Leave it to me. Can you hit anything from here? So I'm gonna pull you slightly back so oh. you're not attacked by two. I'll pull you here. Pull you here. And I'll actually pull you with Shamir and Ah, uh, we don't have a second healer. Okay, I'll leave you in the middle. Tactical nuke. We'll push up. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Hmm. Stay focused. Let them come to us. I will get the victory. This will put us out of range. Who's gonna attack us? Him, that's fine. Appreciate Tactical nuke just behind them. And I'll be right here. I'll be okay. Go nice and easy. You should be honored. See, I knew it was the right decision to bring him along. They move in. Take away every last one of those crest stones. Slut. That is enough. Do you even know what those stones are? Wow, they're not actually going to kill us. They're actually going for the crest stones. Oh, motherfuckers. Change of plans. I think Bernie can take care of this side by herself. I think... Ash is more than capable. Are we done? Yeah, I see. The guys on the side weren't actually attacking us to flank us. Strength. They're just trying to get the crest stones. So they weren't actually there for attacking. In which case, it's perfectly fine because I can actually cut off their escape route. The guys in the middle are attacking. Which works for me actually very well. Impressive. Perfectly fine. You're irrelevant. You underestimated me. There we go. That guy has a crest stone. So I need to move towards him. 
So I'll push Ferdinand here, and I'll get him to attack sideways. You are not. All right, Ferdinand can actually sweep. So he'll just sweep up anyone on the right side, and this guy has one. So we're gonna have to sweep him quickly too, but luckily she can jump over terrain. She should be all right. Witness Bridget Pride. Worst comes to worst. We can just heal her with Linhart. Wow, his healing range is something else. See, they're going for us. They're just completely avoided. Wow, missed. Go, Petra! Oh, wow, he's actually going deeper in. Yeah, that guy's fucked. So we basically cut off their escape route. Bernie can take out this guy. Done. Wait to challenge you. Sent it to the convoy. Tactical nuke. Escape routes cut off. That's how it goes. Am I starting to mess warning shot? What the F is a warning shot? Alright, these guys are useless because they can't get to Ash. These guys' escape is completely cut off. Yeah, these guys are fucked. They're not getting a single stone. Um, training lines, I guess. Yeah, it's basically done. Now it's just clear up. Or clean up, technically. Mm. Alright, we're out of range. Push up our healer. Fine. Man, he can just maneuver around them. We're all chasing Ash. And don't worry, I'll I'll not toss the press stone, you don't have to worry about that. Shamir's in range. Poor girl. Move Felix up. Move Kuma up. Move Tactical Nuke up. Move Linhart up. Move Bernie up. be super effective so I'm just gonna leave him there. Yeah, yeah. I can't lose. 
Bam, he just killed himself. That was tough. Sixty-nine, good girl. She's learnt well. Good girl. Anywhere I can hide. This was beneath me. All right, the right side is completely exposed. Basically rush it. Assist, heal bunny. That really helped. Why not call the healer a heal bomb? It kind of is a heal bomb. If only Alright, they're all going for Ash, funnily enough. I mean Ash could take him out if he wanted to. I reckon Shamir if she goes in range will just basically take them out. He's alright. Fight continues. Sleep in the dirt. Shamir's just gonna take them out. <laughs> Worth it. Are we done? It's going for Shamir. They're trying to regroup, which is not clever considering they've just split each other apart. Meaning Shamir can take this one out. Missed. Good work, Shamir. <laughs> Silenced. We can completely bypass that thing and just keep running up. Actually, I could have. I kind of used up one of my, give it my things, but it's completely fine. Dead eye training bow. You can just pick it off from the distance. Battle. Wow, he's not actually able to move a lot. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Ooh, they're gonna attack at that distance. So let's just create a line. I will get the victory. I'll go. Oh no. Yeah, they're not going anywhere. Leave it to me. So the Right Stay side focused. can push at any time now. Ooh, he gets a heal. They're not actually doing very much at all. Yeah, there's an encounter point. I'm just pushing them up a little more. Letting yeah, that's too much. What if to I work. let Shamir do it from here? This is risky, might actually take one of them out. If it doesn't, they'll take it out. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that was risky. Yeah. 
That was stupid. I can actually just send Petra in there to take care of it. Petra can literally take care of it. I'll give it my all. I can just do this in the meantime. To work. How? I am Ferdinand von Eyer. I'll give it one turn. See, they're actually coming to us, so let's just pick them. Oh, 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 he came to us. Foolish. Told it's fine to kill those who resist. Now then, how shall I cook you? Oh wow. Stay focused. Let the lesson begin. Wait. No. I was just following orders. I just How'd it come momentum? How'd it come in? Oh no. I'll go. An open. <laughs> You're weak. Leave it to me. Wait, I can move here. I hope I get maximum rewards for this. I like how I can literally warp these guys anywhere. Warp is such a useful ability. Well, since we're engaging Edelgard, I might as well bring Petra here. I don't think Edelgard will just randomly engage people. Just kite it, Ash. I'm starting. I didn't think Edel God was the Flame Emperor. I thought it was some other person. Because she's Empress, why would she need to go by that Flame Emperor bullshit? And a bigger question, where the fuck did she have the time to do this shit? Combat arts. Heavy draw with a silver bow. Fucking not not strong enough. It's ticking me off. In the explore dialogue, people were talking about how there were more merchants. Ah! There is the possibility that you have to let them take all the crest stones out of the boxes for max rewards. Really? Ooh, Petra. What? Despite what I said, I have no intention of killing you. So why not stand down and get out of my way? Oh my god, she's Pikachu. No, I gave her that item, bitch! I 
I poke you with a stick. Professor, I will make no excuses. Thank you for all that you did for me. In truth, no. Let's leave it at that. Are you done? So, the end has come. Not making a DMC5 reference. I protected all the crest stones. What? Yay! I... Oh, silver bow. I will take this. This is good. This is good. I was like, arrested bow? You fucking cheated me! Oh! I will take that, yes. Very good. Bernadetta's motivation is maxed out. Edelgard, you slut. Why'd you even do this? I'm disappointed, Edelgard. You have disappointed me, Edelgard. You're not the only one. I'm disappointed. What was this sloppy excuse of an insurrection? I taught you better. To think that a descendant of House Heresmelk would dare betray the Holy Church. So, it is my teacher who stands in my way. I always knew it would come to this. How? What part of my teaching have I ever been against killing people? Why are you my enemy? Why am I your enemy? This makes zero sense. Edelgard, I am very disappointed. Very bad Edelgard. Needlessly making enemies with her strongest allies. Very bad Edelgard. You're pulling a Hitler here. Bad Edelgard. Very bad. Professor, kill Edelgard at once. No. She is a danger to all of Fodlin. Such a rebellious heart cannot be allowed to keep beating. Ooh! We're gonna have to save this somewhere. Lucky I didn't save on the top. I'm not killing her. Yes. You. How dare you. My teacher, I... Thank you. But are you certain that... No. Now isn't the time for discussion. Bad Edelgard. You're not supposed to question when someone saves you. Words cannot properly express my gratitude, Professor. Cuck, get away from being behind me. Guys should never be standing directly behind me. So, this is the choice you have made. You are just another failure. Oh god, why are you giving me those eyes? I'm taking multiple screenshots here. Your presence soils this holy tomb and disgraces my brethren. I will not allow one who would lend our enemy strength to wield the power of the goddess Sothis. Yeah, about that. You'd be shocked to hear what actually happened last week. I have passed judgment, and now I shall rip your chest open and take back your heart myself! All right, taking bets. Is she going to turn into that big white dragon we saw in the opening? Oh, shit. <laughs> Call dead. Must be the immaculate one. Call dead. Yes. The monsters that have controlled Fodlin in secret for far too long. Call dead. She's a dragon. Rey is their leader. There is no time to waste. Your Majesty, Professor. We must escape while we can. No, I want the XP. Hey, did I hand you a shrinking potion by accident? I could have sworn that was the gender swapping one. Don't be hating. She's fun sized, that's all. She doesn't even have to get on her knees to blow. <laughs> <laughs> 
You want to add anything to that conversation? Nope, I'm good.